The H.O. Silver Meteor, train 97's rail journey begins at the Mary Lindsay Railroad's Penn Boston Grand Central Terminal. This station is the Mary Lindsay Railroad's generic interpretation of an East Coast subterranean station. The station, as the name implies, was primarily influenced by Penn Station in New York City. The terminal is host to a number of East Coast commuter railroads operated by the Mary Lindsay Railroad, including Metro North and New Jersey Transit. The facility, like much of the railroad, is still a work in progress. Future plans for the station will see a station terminal and entire downtown scene built over the tracks. We see some other trains currently operating in and out of the station, including Train 66, the only Northeast Regional train to include a baggage car in the contest, that arrived from Newport News. We also spot an FL9 with an Empire Service train alongside a New Jersey Transit commuter train led by an ALP44. Up in the concourse, passengers wait patiently until the train is ready for boarding. It's train 97 scheduled to depart at 3.15 p.m. Down at the platform and track level, we see our train is ready for boarding. Today's train is led by AEM 7AC 934. This locomotive was custom built using an undecorated Atlas AEM 7 kit in aftermarket parts. 934 is only one of four AEM 7 ACs built by the Mary Lindsay Railroad. Train 97 departs Penn Station on schedule at 3.15 p.m. The train will cover a distance of 1,389 miles, which equates to 1,984 mainline laps by our train. We join the HO Scale Silver Media arriving in Wilmington, Delaware with AEM 7 AC 934. The platform you see here is not an exact replica of the station, nor is it intended to be. The platform was built by the Mary Lindsay Railroad as a generic high-level platform that represents the more substantial station stops along the Northeast Corridor. All other stops are conducted on the main line. The station was custom built by the Mary Lindsay Railroad using a combination of two pieces of 1 8 inch foam strips and one half inch foam board. The shelters were built with evergreen scale model scratch building parts including H columns and L girders. The platform is still under construction as a number of additional features will be added in the future. These features include an enclosed glass area that can loosely double as a sheltered waiting area or stairing way down or up. The station was also built to accommodate working LED light strips and future light posts at the end of the platforms. Operation of the Silver Meteor and all other trains on the Mary Lindsay Railroad is fully automated between New York and Washington. This is made possible using the automated CTI layout software, which uses a series of sensors mounted throughout the layout in combination with TCL programming language, which is developed in CTI's train brain software. The computer does all the work, which frees us up to capture action on the Mary Lindsay Railroad. We continue to wait trackside before the computer sends the command to the train that it's clear to depart the station. Without any manual intervention, the electric locomotive throttles up to 30 miles per hour as it clears the station. The next station stop for this train will be Baltimore, Maryland in less than an hour. In Washington, D.C., two AMD 103 diesel locomotives wait for the arrival of the Silver Meteor before pulling the train on the balance of its trip to Miami, Florida. Train 97 crawls into the lower level of Washington Union Station at a lean and mean 15 miles per hour on the adjacent track. Here, AEM 7 number 934 will be cut off and engines 190 and 815 will take its place. Once the train comes to a complete stop, automated operations give way to manual operation as the locomotive swap is carried out. Operations of this type are one of the few manual operations that are still carried out on the Mary Lindsay Railroad today. The only other manual activity involves positioning equipment and yard moves. The Mary Lindsay Railroad has given no indication that it intends to automate these tasks as it provides opportunities to be hands-on.
All passenger cars in today's consist were manufactured by Walkers. In addition to two Walkers Proto Amphi 2 coaches and one Amphi 2 lounge car, the train includes a Heritage Diner custom painted by the Mario Lindsay Railroad in Phase 6, Amtrak's current paint scheme. The train also includes two Viewliner sleepers in Phase 6, which were exclusively offered through Amtrak as part of its 40th anniversary celebration and are no longer in production. All other cars in the consist are factory painted. The Mary Lindsay Railroad is running the Silver Meteor with a seven-car consist. This is shorter than the prototype given the limited space available on the Mary Lindsay Railroad to accommodate most prototypical Amtrak consists. As a result, the MLRR operates what is called a compressed consist which incorporates one of each car type found in the prototype at a minimum and adds additional coaches and or sleepers when possible. This has been standard practice for the railroad since its formation in 1995. Now uncoupled from the train, engine 934 heads out to the throat and is switched onto the adjacent track as it makes its way to the Mary Lindsay Railroad's Deborah Yard. We catch engine 934 negotiating the complex switches of Deborah Yard as it makes its way to the motor pit. There, it will wait in line to have its wheels clean along with other electric locomotives that will eventually make the return trip more. With our locomotives lashed up and passengers boarded and ready to go as operations are turned back over to the computer running a new program that will facilitate the remainder of the trip to Miami, Florida. The train departs on the schedule having perfectly completed the segment between New York and Washington.
rejoin train 97 as it arrives in Richmond, Virginia Staples Mill Road Station. Having made stops in Alexandria and Fredericksburg earlier in the evening, it's after 9 p.m. now and there's nearly zero visibility with only light from our lead engine lighting the way. Here the train is serviced and refueled before departing for its next scheduled stop in Petersburg, Virginia. Richmond also happens to be a designated smoking stop for passengers looking to smoke as smoking is not allowed on board any Amtrak train. Catch train 97 the next day, arriving in Winter Park, Florida. Our train has been traveling overnight, making various stops along the way. This is one of the benefits of automated operation, as the operator can literally get a good night's sleep while the train continues to perform like its real-life counterpart. Due to a mishap the night before, our train is over one hour late due to issues with the dining car. Our train departs Winter Park, Florida and pushes onwards towards Miami. Unfortunately, during this run, we were unable to capture the train arriving in Miami. However, we leave you with a few additional run-bys of the Silver Meteor as it approaches South Florida. Due to schedule padding and making up some time along the route, Train 97 has arrived only 50 minutes behind schedule. The train has made 1,894 laps around the Mary Lindsay Railroad main line to account for the trip between New York Penn Station and Miami, Florida. We hope you've enjoyed this video of the HO Silver Meteor. Please visit our YouTube channel, Facebook page, and website for additional information, photos, and custom projects. Thanks for watching.